Okay, so let's get in the book bolt. So if you go to sidebusinesslaunch.com forward slash book bolt, uh, that is um, the link you can use that you can sign up for this. And then if you enter side business as a coupon, um, when you check out, you will get 20% off of book bolt. So definitely uh, check that out. So you're going to log in. And once you log in to book bolt, you will see this page. So we're going to go through this and um, on how to use BookBolt. So in case you haven't used it yet and you're kind of wondering, I know many people in the merch community, of course, have heard of BookBolt uh, since it's put out by uh, Neil and Merch Informer. And um, let's go through this. And this can serve also as a little quick review. But products is where we're at now. So if I put in a keyword uh, and I pick either notebook, journal, or music, that is, those are the options there right now. That's what I will get. Uh, seller is where I can put in a seller name and come up with a um, author. So basically that's the author. So if you know on Amazon by doing your research that you found someone on there that you want to search and see all their books, you can do that here. Uh, cloud is kind of where you can start if you really don't know what you want to search or start with. So maybe you're like, I'm not sure what I want to search. You can just start with the cloud. Uh, the cloud, you can look for like, say, top, we'll just do 100, top 100. And these are really top sellers. Maybe you don't want those. Maybe you want next, you know, level up. And these are BSR ranks. So the lower the number, the more it's selling. So one to 100,000 means it's selling considerably each month. This is 100,000 above. 100,000 still a very good BSR ranking as well. Uh, you also have your favorites there that you can save in keywords and, um, and then you have many tools. When you click your name, you have KDP Spy. It's a Chrome extension that you can download. Another Chrome extension for the, uh, the BookBolt Lister and also the BookBolt Designer, which we'll get into when we get into the design uh, part of all this. But right now we're focusing on keywords and whatnot. So let's start off with going this way. We, we're going to assume that we're not sure what we want to do. And actually, let's click this one. Let's get the best of the best that are selling. And maybe we want to look at notebooks and journals. I have no keywords for right now. Let's just put search and see what happens, what we get. Okay, so now this is a good way to get keywords. So if you look at it, what BookBolt is saying is that out of the 100 results they're giving us, here's the range of prices, 399 to as high as 29 the average price is $8, okay? And what they're telling us is that in those 100 results, this is the amount of times that these keywords appear. So journal obviously appears a lot, so that's a good keyword to have in there. Book is in there a lot, pages, notebook, planner. So uh, perfect, you know, if you will put in your description or title or subtitle rather, saying perfect gift for so-and-so. Um, you know, so these are all different um, keywords that go there. Now, this is a good place to get your keyword idea. So if you um, do a planner uh, that is, and again, if we can niche this down. Had we put in the keywords, let's say a, you know, I don't know, a cow planner, one, you know, one that has a cows on it or something for a notebook or journal, then there would be a lot of specific keywords here to that. So that's how you start to niche down a little bit more. But just some basic ideas. So on these results here, this planner gives us a bunch of information. Here's the title. It's clickable. If I click it, it'll bring me to Amazon to the listing. Um, same with the author. If I click it, actually the author is going to give me a listing in here. We'll do that after. Uh, but it tells me the publisher. It's obviously going to be either create space or independently published, meaning it's from KDP recently. Gives you the ASIN, it gives you when it was published, the price, the BSR ranking, um, estimated monthly sales. Now, these, this is not always exact, but nonetheless, it's selling a heck of a lot of uh, units per month, 778. All right, so that's quite a bit. So if I wanted to see anything else by Pretty Simple Press, if I click that in a new window, it's going to put it in the seller, which is this tab for me. If I click search, now I can get results of other books and items that this seller is selling. And here's the top keywords for their listings that popped up. So you can see they have some nice covers going on. Um, they have, you know, estimated monthly sales. Besides that 778, they certainly have a bunch 
of other ones. Okay, here's an interesting one, a bucket list one. Um, you know, so you can get a lot of different ideas. Again, I'm not copying anything. I just want to get an idea and say, well, bucket list, I never thought about that. And then now I can kind of create my own from that. It also shows you your reviews, seven reviews, 21 reviews. So it shows you all of this and you can see the description by clicking show. Or I can simply hide it if I don't want it there. So this gives me all kinds of different ideas. Or I can go back to the general one that I did now that has all the other ones. So again, if I want to see any of these in Amazon, maybe this food diary, I can just click here and it opens it up in Amazon so I can take a look. So personally, if you're going to do research on Amazon, I highly recommend using Book Bolts because it puts it all together for me anyway. So the program is designed to bring up just independently published and KDP results. So I like that as well, because if you look up planners and things like that on Amazon, you're going to find a lot of private label and FBA type planners and things that we cannot do on KDP. For in other words, we cannot do, um, you know, at this time we can't do spiral bound. We can't do, um, you know, hard covers. So if that's the case, all those results are normally going to come up as well. But here in BookBolt, I'm getting results just for people like myself that are using just KDP and have that at their disposal. So that's what I like about this um, type of uh, research here. So and instead I can do cow journal and I can hit search. Okay, now here's my results, 199 total results. And again, lowest price, the highest price, the average gives me all that. And now this is where you can really utilize this keyword count area. So because we did get specific and I want to create a cow journal, um, now I can utilize some of these keywords because they are specific to the cow journal that I want to create. So cow is in there, of course, cows um, love. So maybe, you know, anyone who loves cows, um, you know, all these different things in their animal, you know, so you definitely want to take a look at all these because this is giving you the top keywords used in these. So this one, 172 estimated sales, you can see there's a big drop off after that. So maybe this may not be a great niche to get into. So that's the other thing that this can do is it can let you see kind of what is selling out there and what's not selling. But this first one, uh, keep calm and love cows, very simple cover. I can take a look at the title, what they're doing. And again, I, if I click author, then I can do a little bit more research on the author. Uh, but if it's getting a lot of sales like this, it doesn't have any reviews, which is surprising. Um, and again, if I wanted to save this for later, this cow one is pretty cool. Maybe I can just click the heart and now it'll be in my favorites. I can make a folder. I can just put in my general favorites. Um, okay, so I need to submit it. There we go. So now it's in my favorites if I want to check it out later on and investigate it a little bit further. Maybe I want to take a look more at the keywords and, and what it looks like and everything like that. So now I have it saved. So, uh, and then of course that's here in your favorites where you can find it. Okay, so then you would favorites and there you go. So you can see there's only two of them in there. I had saved that one before. And then there is this one, the cow one. All right, and then we go over to the keywords area, which is a feature that is coming soon to BookBolt. I'm pretty sure they're rolling it out uh, very soon. I will update this video once that is out. But for right now, the cloud is what you use when you don't have any idea whatsoever um, of what you want to do. Let's click music and let's do that one. And, um, you know, we did journals before and notebooks, but now music. Now this is giving me some different ideas here. And again, if I click the title, it'll bring me to Amazon so I can look at it closer. Or if I click the author, I can then find out more about what's published by the author. And which is where the seller comes into play. I can put in the name right there. And of course, products, probably where you'll spend a lot of your time in is where you want to search uh, specifically. So if I wanted to search for a specific type of journal, uh, like some of the ones we talked about earlier, prayer journal, um, prayer journal for women, whatever, I would enter that in here and then I would search. If there's any reason that you want to search only titles, you would check that off. But I normally keep that off because I want keywords. I want everything to come back so that I can understand it well. Uh, when we get into uploading, I'll also uh, show you the 
um, lister, the book bolt lister that comes with it, and also the designer when we get into uh, design. So that is mainly BookBolt in a nutshell and why I believe you should be doing research on BookBolt. It brings it all into one place, makes it nice and easy. So again, if you go to sidebusinesslaunch.com slash BookBolt, that's where you can sign up and also get 20% off uh, by entering the coupon side business so that you can get your 20% off for life on BookBolt um, when you get it. So that's about it. We're going to move on and continue to do research in other tools.